Chase First Banking, a debit card for kids and a set of tools to help them learn good money habits. By creating allowances and assigning chores, they can practice earning every day. With a debit card just for them, they'll learn smart spending firsthand while you monitor and set account alerts. And using their own Chase mobile app, they can set big savings goals, all with no monthly service fee. Chase First Banking. Don't worry, Ma, we'll be there soon. We? Is this the one? Well, let's say I found the one who takes me to another level. Most importantly, the one that helps me discover the coolest places. I can't wait to meet her. Definitely the one. <laughs> Introducing the all-new Nissan Frontier. Get a low 309 per month lease on the 2022 Nissan Frontier or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 14 models. This is NBC4 News at 11. And right now at 11, a wind event like we haven't seen in years. Trees toppled on homes, cars, power lines, knocking out electricity for thousands of people. And right now, a major cleanup effort is underway in cities all across Southern California. As the wind starts to die down, we do have live team coverage for you. Meteorologist David Baker tracking our current conditions. But we're going to begin tonight with NBC4's Lauren Coronado, who is live in Claremont, where the damage there, Lauren, is extensive. Absolutely, Robert, Kathy, it is so bad. And right now, I actually want to show you guys crews who've been working now, gosh, more than 12 hours, right? Close to 24 hours, actually. They're right here behind me. You could see them trying to restore power to this community. As we know, so many are still left in the dark tonight. It was scary because I was all alone last night. I was just hoping my windows held and my trees held up. Dangerous winds whipping through Claremont. There are so many trees down in this town that they're shorthanded. So I thought, you know, I have equipment, so I brought it out here. And I started to saw up at set, or 6 o'clock this morning. Rodney Hutchison working to remove trees like this one ripped from its roots, lifting the sidewalk and blocking Town Avenue, a major thoroughfare. No neighborhood spared. Around the corner, this pine tree crushing a home. We heard someone say call 911. Taking out the water and gas line, too. Our neighbors from across the street were yelling, get out of the house, get out of the house, because they could see that the gas and water were shooting up. Power lines seen hanging from trees, leaving tens of thousands in the dark. We have no no power, no how to touch our phones or anything. Claremont Mayor Jed Liano working to get his most hard hit residents help. If there are any residents who still need some basic necessities, food, water, flashlights, um, you can call dispatch at the Claremont Police Department, and we will make sure Human Services connects appropriate resources with those people. Standing by to ratify a local state of emergency signed by Claremont City Manager Saturday afternoon. That item was added pursuant to state law to our upcoming Tuesday night city council agenda. We will hopefully be voting to ratify that state of emergency, which will hopefully enable us to access more resources. It's all about getting more resources, just like what we're seeing right now, because we know this is just one of many crews. You also heard the mayor talk about getting the police department's dispatch involved. I asked him, hey, you know, you're letting neighbors know that they can reach out to the police department. What does staffing look like? He says that all hands are on deck right now. Another question that I'm getting from residents, those without power, they're asking, where can we charge our phones, laptops, devices? The mayor says that they're actually working to get a secured location, a city location, and they're going to let us know what they land on soon. Reporting live in Claremont, Lauren Coronado, NBC4 News. Lauren, thank you. Problems just about everywhere, and this is new at 11. A family in Azusa has a big mess to clean up tonight after a neighbor's tree came crashing down onto their home. From this video,